so we are architects, so we are trying to do something from uh, our own field, from our own, uh, from our, from our own expertise of uh, uh, architects and, and urban planners. We do have our professional architecture studio, but uh, beside that, we are doing uh, such a, such a projects. So just briefly, for you uh, who are not from uh, from the area of uh, former Yugoslavia and Croatia, just a brief explanation how did it all uh, started. So we are the generation that um, we were in our 20s uh, at the end of the 1990, uh, 1990s. It was uh, the war was uh, just over. Croatia has split it apart. Basically, almost overnight, most of the social protocols have changed and. Uh, Collapsed in a way, and where they were transformed in a, in a other um, in in a other format. So basically, from uh, socialism we went to to capitalism. Uh, from um, a very strong idea of uh, collectiveness, we ended up in a very strong uh, private uh, uh, private orientation. From something that was um, very clear uh, ideological um, setup, we ended up in a very instantaneous uh, religious. Uh, feelings and uh, nationalism, uh, but also in, in that period globally, as you know, there was a big change from uh, in, in a big explosion in um, consumerism and uh, digitalization. So all these changes came at once at a certain point. We were in a faculty of architecture that was, uh, as the rest of the architectural practice, it was quite uh, elitist and quite uh, encapsulated, I would say maybe mystified in, in a way. So um, our position was to try to open up this, um, this setup, try to uh, open up our profession towards the, the rest of the society, try to find the role of architecture in much broader uh, social context and try to help it in, in the way that, that we could. So we, we started to organize uh, lectures which are, which are on, the, on the borders of the, of the faculty venues at the beginning. So this was the uh, kind of a lobby space of the faculty. That was the first thing. So it was not in the auditorium like this, but on the staircase. It, it later on, it uh, ended up organizing different kind of events, basically lectures at the beginning in the, in the public spaces, in an abandoned public spaces, in, in f totally informal uh, places. Uh, the agenda behind this was basically to design a new kind of communication in the architectural uh, discourse, and the uh, architectural audience spread it on the much wider cultural audience and in a much wider public um, uh, sphere. So it was. Uh, it was designed, as we like to say, it was, uh, we, we had our own chairs, we had our own, uh, the ones that are portable and produced especially for this, you know, we had our own sound system, which was uh, uh, power independent, uh, there was uh, DJ groups following us, making parties before, making parties afterwards, whole um, um, graphical design with uh, fancy posters following the, the whole thing. At the moment, uh, there was no, um, uh, social networks on, on internet, so that was uh, SMS communication, as Theo was explaining uh, before, so it was quite strong. And uh, we, we had uh, special agents in the audience who were uh, who already had the, uh, the, the, um, the questions prepared in order to uh, make people uh, start to communicate, start to ask uh, questions, because in the architectural uh, field, you know, it was quite, um, qu the people are quite sustained, you know, and they, they, everybody was thinking this is a, a um, very kind of um, solid um, profession and self-contained, so there should be no uh, public questioning of the whole thing. So, through this process we have discovered many different informal places in the city of Zagreb, abandoned factories, uh, construction sites, uh, uh, centers of, of blocks and so on, that we later on have, um, have mapped on and offered to the other actors in uh, independent uh, culture as a possibility to hold uh, events in those, uh, in those places. And, uh, at the same time, all these initiatives that uh, Theo was uh, explaining were emerging, so somehow it was one flow uh, together from their side, the, the, the rise of the independent uh, culture, and from another side, our attempt to um, provide spaces, or at least to help in a way with, uh, with this. 
uh, this uh, symbiosis somehow went uh, good, and uh, this was these were abandoned uh, cinemas that were used for uh, such a, for such a purposes. And our role was always to help from the architectural position as much as we could. Later on, this other, the other cinema, this one was uh, uh, our, the part of our group, which is from uh, Zagreb, has, uh, was, was running as an you know, independent um, social center for a couple of years. Some of the theater plays in, uh, in those places, this, that's the former slaughterhouse. We've been, we, we came in, basically discovered the place, cleaned the space and organized uh, events. Uh, later on, a couple of years later, the city of Zagreb uh, has started intensively to use this space for its um, um, public events, especially the ones that are, that are focused for a younger audience and so on. Uh, and also other groups like Association of Designers recently is using this uh, very much. So, it's okay. You can go then. And that's uh, as as uh, one of the quite important part of the whole thing is the um, Youth Salon uh, 2001 in Zagreb. Slaven Tol, he was the curator and and a, a guiding member of this um, of this adventure, I would say. Uh, before that, the art salon were were, were held in um, in public spaces in um, in art venues, and uh, the idea was in this case to put the youth salon in the fair hall there, which is 10,000 square meter big uh, fair space, and to bring the the war uh, the, the containers that were heavily damaged in the in the war as uh, and to build uh, exhibition space. Uh, out of them, so the military help has helped us quite a lot to make this ballet with uh, with the containers to make a space inside. But what was important for uh, in in this case, from our architectural point of view, uh, it was the idea to create a sort of uh, um, simultaneous uh, multimedia um, and public uh, space as a kind of uh, art uh, biotop, you know, where where we were actually um, testing the coexistence of uh, presentation of art, production of arts, and uh, public uh, events in in the same space. So it was meant to be 24-hour city with many different events, not only showing the the arts, but much more. Uh, holding events and uh, providing people a space to live over there, there to spend time in a canteen, in a I know, skate park, in a, um, sports courts and so on, everything uh, mixed together. Graffiti, reading, canteen, exhibitions and, and so on. Yeah. And it was for us quite important experiment that, we've been, uh, that we have really learned quite a lot out of this. Uh, most that we learned is about, uh, about the control and, uh, and the flow of the um, of, of people and, and, and events in, in such a crazy uh, spaces, you know, how to really uh, manage the organization and, and security and, um, and many different aspects from acoustics to security and so on. Uh, it didn't, didn't last long as a 24-hour space because in maybe two days it ended up uh, totally crazy. People are stealing things, people are, I don't know, having sex in those containers, escaping during the night through the windows. It was really crazy, so uh, it didn't succeed fully as, as that concept, but we have really learned quite a lot from, uh, from this. Uh, the space that uh, Theo was explaining before as, um, as a challenge to the city of Zagreb from the independent cultural scene to uh, actually to provide, uh, to, to give them the offer to provide uh, a, very, a quality venue and quality space for this really flourishing uh, um, cultural sector, which uh, in the end you saw it didn't, uh, uh, didn't succeed. But uh, it was again one, one experiment for us, especially as I said, our colleagues from, from Zagreb, uh, that are uh, somehow to create this space of coexistence of uh, uh, presentation of arts and um, production and events. It was year 2005, and this is Sinisha Labrovic that you're going to see uh, today, a colleague of ours reading uh, books to the sheep. So, yeah. <clears throat> and many other events, of course, happened, but they were all more or less all following the same, uh, the same pattern of uh, independent uh, art. Yeah. 
uh, in some moment we have moved to city of Split, which is on the coast, which had a completely different uh, case. Uh, there, was, uh, there was a huge venue there, which you see as a, as a silhouette here, but there was no um, but uh, there was no such a strong independent cultural scene that this cultural center was dedicated to. So um, it was built in the times of uh, socialism in, in the 70s, in a kind of very strong uh, modernization uh, times in uh, Croatia, where, where a lot of the housing was built, a lot of sport venues and so on. And it was built as a really monumental cultural center, as a very, a very a centrally organized theater space. Uh, which would dominate the, the city as a space for the culture of youth. And it was left unfinished in year 2080, uh, to, uh, 2009, uh, sorry, 84. And uh, it's, when we came 2004, it was in such a condition, quite a problematic space. There was junkies, prostitutes in there. Uh, some people were squatting this space. Some people get heavily injured there because they were falling through these enormous uh, spaces. So it was really problematic space, but it was a constant uh, broken promise from all city governments that the youth culture and independent uh, art and culture will get a space for their practice, you know, and to, to be there simply. Yeah? It was in, in such a condition. There were, there were groups already, um, they, have, they have find their places, they squatted, especially in the basement, one really strong organization has squatted the space below and trying to do something on their own, but the rest of the space was completely uncontrolled. That's 10,000 square meters, really a huge space. So our position there was, um, we had like three roles in, um, in, this, in this process. Uh, of course, because we, we are not the, the only ones, we are just from our side trying to promote the, the whole idea. So first thing is to, uh, to, to act as architects, practical architects, to transform uh, the, physically the space and, and enable it for the usage. Second thing is to uh, somehow promote and push the idea of um, different kind of management of the institution, which is not um, like a big national theater, which was as it was designed at the beginning, but rather as a hybrid institution that would um, have uh, participants from the independent culture scene involved into the management of the organization, and also trying to uh, somehow give the, give the word and give the power to those independent uh, institutions that are growing around and in this center and that are also could grow yeah, there. And third uh, aspect of our, our, the things that we are doing there is to uh, promote uh, and build up uh, programs and build up the, the, the location itself as a space for the, um, for the audience, as a um, uh, space of a quality programs that people would really uh, love to go to see things uh, or to participate in their, in their production. So it was an uh, original project. The gray spaces are spaces for the, for the staff and for the um, actors and uh, performers. And, it, and the orange ones are the spaces for the, for the audience. So. Uh, from the beginning, the concept was to fragmentize this completely and to create many autonomous different uh, spaces that could be inhabited by different kind of uh, programs and, um, and, and dynamics. So some could be, and, and all of those can be run in a different, um, in a different way with a different kind of uh, management, but all together building one location, one cultural location, one, um, one management and one, um, one program. One, Okay, um, in a section, so you can see that this is not um, unique um, and kind of uh, centralized, centrally organized space, but it's rather a combination of spaces. So it's, a, as we call it, a multimedia complex, uh, se a, a, a kind of symbiosis of different uh, uh, autonomous programs and the hybrid uh, institutions. Uh, the basic idea is to have the minimum, um, the minimum infrastructure needed in terms of people employed, in terms of running costs and so on, and to have as much as possible people who are coming there for programs, but having then the full uh, service for their, uh, for their programs. 
just an, an example here, it's, um, let's say this yellow one is a former uh, kitchen for this uh, huge uh, snack bar, which was a lobby bar over there. And the, on the other side was the entrance space with a huge uh, guard room. And then we have, of course, transformed this into, down, the, down there there is an art cinema. And uh, there is a media tech, and there is a multi uh, multi-purpose hall, basically for dance and and performance. And on the other side, there is a there is a canteen uh, with a, with a, with a kitchen and so on. So basically, you have compacted all these necessary these kind of utility spaces, and used as much as possible those uh, the space for those uh, independent uh, activities. Yeah. And uh, and it ended up. I mean, this these are just images from the from the process from the uh, from the many different occasions. So let's let's pass through the through the space. So in a, in a basement there is a club uh, Kotska, which is a youth uh, youth club and association of um, different uh, youth initiatives, and a skate park. Then there, uh, this is that's the the former the, the space that was meant to be a snack bar, and now it's uh, uh, the idea is to transform it into performance space. Uh, the the art cinema that I have that I have shown to you that we call a beton kino. The idea was uh, one part of that was totally uh, built up and and closed. We didn't know because one part of the building is it's a bank. Also, we thought that space belongs to the bank, but then we entered there, crashed the the walls. Then we find out okay, that's that's our space, and we, the the idea was to. Um, together as volunteers to crash these walls, to clean up the space, and to put in the, the chairs that we found in another cinema that was uh, renovated in that time, used the cinema equipment that was also uh, left over from another space, and to, and to make it as, a, as a volunteers this space for uh, uh, art cinema. Yeah. And now it's uh, slowly being constructed yeah, as that. Yeah. Of course, the exhibition space started as that on, uh, on, uh, on your left, uh, left up, and then it ended up in, um, uh, by uh, gradual transformation and uh, small investments, we managed to tra uh, transform it into the um, exhibition space, which is at the moment the most important exhibition space in the city of Split. Uh, and uh, it really holds the events from the student exhibitions to the really, uh, really important exhibitions of contemporary uh, artists of the name. Yeah. Uh, auditoriums, uh, they were transformed through time, uh, again, through small investments. So at the beginning, that was only cleaning, and then second hand was just uh, painting, and then uh, a little bit uh, repairing, the, setting up the, the acoustics. And, uh, and so on and, and so forth, you know. So it's, and but, but what is important from the beginning, we started, um, the, the whole th thing started the, with our initiatives, or with our initiative that we offer to the city, that they give us around 100,000 euros to uh, invest in the building in order to, uh, to, to make a minimum uh, safety standard in the space. So, uh, we have invested this money, then the city has recognized that it is actually possible. The idea was by using this minimal intervention, start to use space. So not to wait that the space is finished completely, fully equipped, like, I don't know, this beautiful venue here, but to start it, to use it when it is in raw concrete uh, condition. And it started and we've been somehow using and living in the space and simultaneously repairing the whole thing. And this is from the event a couple of uh, months ago, 600 people in the auditorium, which, is, which can fit only 300. And it was the night of, uh, of, uh, of stories and talks, and, and they wanted to light up the petro petroleum uh, candle in the, in the middle. And I was totally scared because this security system of the, of the building doesn't function at all. And I was thinking, okay, if there's going to be dark and there's going to be a kind of uh, open fire, and if something happens, it's going to be a big disaster, you know, because you have like double number of people in the venue, security doesn't work, doors are closed, stairs doesn't work. No, it's, 
it's, it will be a disaster. So, uh, and of course, this is a, this is a stage space which is, that is used also as autonomous space. There is a free climbing wall on the, on the stage as well. And down there, you can see the improvised acoustics of the stage that uh, one theater director, his friend, who, is, um, who has a, a steel company, and my, me, myself, know we've been doing physically. Three of us, we have built this acoustics of, of the space for the stage. Okay, it looks like this. A, a big auditorium. We, uh, it was also for the purpose of one uh, conference that we have organized. It was about a video on the on the web. Uh, we have painted and cleaned uh, the auditorium, and, and we were using this as a kind of concrete beach. And uh, it was an international, quite successful conference at the moment. Uh, a part of that was a uh, graphical um, design. That's an uh, other aspect of that with a very good designer in, uh, from our friend, who is a part of our, our, our NGO, of, our, uh, of Platforma. And he has, uh, the idea is that every event that is happening in the building is marked by this dome, which means like a youth center. Yeah? It's a dome, it's kind of center. Uh, so that everybody who participates in the building is somehow, uh, who, who is doing something in the building, participates into the much broader picture, much broader uh, thing. So it was for us as architects, it, in, at that moment was, uh, uh, we are still questioning what to do there. Uh, the idea was in some moment maybe to redesign the whole building as a kind of retro futurist uh, building and so on. But then we say no, we, we don't want to put our own design in, in there, maybe just in some little parts. Our role is much more systematic uh, and programmatic in there. But let's, let, let's uh, present, uh, let's offer this building as a big toy, as a big device to artists and, uh, and uh, cultural workers, as something that you should not have any mercy to and you should really use as much as you can. You can really destroy it in a way, you can uh, build on top of that, you can paint it, you can do whatever you want, and really to make it as, as, as wild and as lively as possible. Um, out of this, so. factory uh, close to the river in, uh, in Zagreb. It, was, it is very uh, innovative and, and uh, really interesting model of um, management of the space, which is, which is an organization which is a hybrid run by the um, uh, association of uh, NGOs from the independent culture and, um, uh, and the city of, uh, city of Zagreb. So they two, together they have, they, have, they have organized one uh, institution that runs the, the space. And of course, this is now home for uh, most of the events from the independent uh, culture scene. And um, by using this knowledge that we have collected through the years and through Domladi and so on, we have help. We are trying to help them to uh, adapt it for the cultural use because at the moment it's just uh, more or less a squatted uh, factory. It has to be transformed into a real uh, cultural center. So the idea is again to recognize different uh, autonomous spaces. The spaces can, can function autonomously, giving the, its own identity to, to each of them, and uh, try to create a space which is um, not something typical that we know, which is, you, you know, how the, the schools and factories work. It's kind of production space, or you know, how the presentation venue works. But this is something in between, you know, something that you can be an audience and a participant in the, in the same time. So, just to, just to show this addition of the, just to show this addition of different spaces and how it all works and how they all together build a common um, infrastructure and they all fit under the same roof as one uh, big system with one uh, with well management, but uh, having contained all these different, uh, very strong identities and very strong, very diverse uh, programs with uh, autonomous uh, dynamics under the same roof, as I said.
And uh, one wish that comes from the different uh, position, it is just a kind of a blurry um, idea at the moment, but something that uh, comes out from the different thing. So Dom Ladih was coming from the existing venue, the cultural center in Zagreb is coming from a very strong cultural scene. This thing is coming again from the, uh, from the fact that there is on the coast existing one extraordinary uh, architectural piece, which was a former health, um, health center, a hospital for kids, uh, for, for the army, for the Yugoslav National Army. And they had in the pine forest on a remote place this uh, a no, a beautiful building, which was completely hidden and protected inside the military uh, zone. Uh, the military has left the place. They have left it to the, uh, to the local uh, community and to the national government, and it was destroyed. And um, Miranda and, and colleagues, they have discovered this building, made articles on this, and at, which at the, uh, at the end resulted in uh, protection of this building as a cultural monument. And in this moment, there is an idea that we inhabit this building as a space for um, independent culture and sciences, or a com actually to find a model how this building could be used for uh, cultural uh, purposes. Uh, trying to resist very strong um, desires that this building is actually demolished and the hotel is built on this location because it's very close to the, um, to the, to the village which wants this zone to be completely used for hotel and uh, to make profit uh, out of that. So um, the idea is again to, to innovate the model of usage, the model of program and the model of space that could be fitted into this um, location for the, for the purpose of um, contemporary culture, basically to give infrastructure to, to it. And this is, this, is a, this is a paper from the protection of, as, a, as a cultural uh, monument. Of course, we've been presenting this building in, uh, in the exhibitions as uh, exhibitions of kind of modernist uh, heritage, uh, architectural heritage, and so on. There was many discussions in, in papers on, uh, on this building because, the, because of the fight of the local people, they, they, because they want to really demolish it. And we are kind of as outsiders trying to protect it and try to, offer, uh, try to convince them that they have an extraordinary value and that um, new culture or science or combination of such uh, 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 events or uh, usages can actually improve their... Um, uh, monotouristic uh, uh, way of seeing at, at things. So these examples that we have shown are um, just some in, in line of uh, very strong um, attempts in, uh, in Croatia to, from the um, independent culture to create uh, infrastructure for them, to actually get, have a home for their, uh, for their activities. Uh, most of us, we have spent our lives in trying to, uh, in trying to find a space for our, uh, for our activities. Many people, instead of doing their own programs, they've been fighting for, um, uh, for the spaces, for, uh, for how, who's going to pay the bill, who's, bills, who's going to uh, secure the space, who's going to um, run the whole thing, instead of, as I said, doing, doing their own uh, programs. But at the end, I think it's, uh, it, was, um, it was useful. And I believe that somehow we managed to, to help in, in this process as architects to, to all these people that are our friends and that somehow uh, uh, colleagues in all of this that you are doing to, uh, to make it uh, in a successful way. Just a list of those spaces, Lazareti, okay, Domladi, in Split, and Pogon in Zagreb, and Krvavica, this uh, health, former health hospital, Lazareti Dubrovnik, that probably Slavin will tell you much more about that. That's a fight, extraordinary fight for, the, for such a space that they are, they are running. Karlo uh, Rojc in Pula, uh, Filodramatica in Rijeka. Slavin also knows quite a lot about what's going on in Rijeka in terms of independent culture and infrastructure for them. Try to imagine that one NGO gets such a space, which is in the middle of the city center, but it doesn't have... Uh, I mean, it needs uh, very strong uh, investment in, in uh, reparations, in trying to uh, fit it and equip for the cultural things. It's in the same time very good, um, very good opportunity 
but on the other hand, it's um, you need to really be strong you know, to run this space properly and to organize, um, to be able to, to somehow control um, what's going on with this infrastructure in order that it stays fitted for everybody who is, um, who is coming in, in there. In Rijeka, they have much uh, better, much better understanding from the city government because actually they are helping them in, uh, in this process, but in most of the other spaces, people have to fight on their own for all these infrastructural things. The same thing is in Harlovac and in many, many other places. That would be it for me. Thank you.